clinical trial is a study conducted to evaluate new medical treatments. Each study is designed to find better ways to help patients. The StableMates trial is now being offered to patients with early-stage lung cancer to help evaluate whether a newer type of radiation treatment called SABER is as effective as surgery for treating this type of cancer. The standard therapy for early-stage lung cancer is surgery. The preferred surgical procedure is called a lobectomy because a defined portion of the lung, called a lobe, is removed. Patients who are considered to be at high risk for such an operation but can still tolerate anesthesia and a more limited operation may have a sublobar resection, that is, removal of less than a lobe. If you are watching this video, your doctor has determined that you are at higher risk for complications from a full lobectomy. Usually, you would be offered the less invasive sublobar surgery as a standard of care treatment. As an alternative, in this study, you could receive stereotactic ablative radiotherapy, or SABER. This new treatment uses highly focused radiation to destroy lung cancer while minimizing radiation exposure to surrounding normal tissue. Until now, SABER has been recommended exclusively for medically inoperable patients. The results of treating these patients with SABER have been much better than treatment with traditional radiation therapy and may even offer as good an outcome as sublobar resection. So now we want to know if there might be two options for early-stage lung cancer patients, surgery and SABER. This study will help doctors understand the advantages and disadvantages of each therapy so that they can better advise patients about their treatment options. The study may also help physicians to identify which patients are more likely to benefit from one therapy compared to the other. With sublobar resection, the cancer is completely removed, as well as removing other areas that may contain cancer that we did not know about on preoperative testing. This may help reduce the chance of cancer recurrence and also may help guide future treatment such as chemotherapy. Remember that with surgery, the cancer is removed from the body. With other treatments, the cancer is treated within the body. It's important to remember that with surgery, there is a recovery time and also the risk of complications. Patients who are at high risk may have impaired lung function and also may have other medical problems that may impact their recovery. So while we think that surgery may be a good option, we have to think about the time to recover back to normal activity and also that risk of complications that may exist. We did a study a few years ago treating inoperable lung cancer patients with SABER and we found that this treatment successfully controlled the targeted primary tumor in 98% of patients. This was very exciting because they were given a very effective treatment that could be compared to surgery in terms of immediate tumor control and long-term survival. As a result of this study, the standard of care has completely changed for inoperable lung cancer patients. So now we'd like to test this same treatment in patients who are eligible to have surgery but who can't tolerate a full lobectomy. As a non-invasive outpatient treatment, SABER may benefit patients by offering them a treatment that is easier to tolerate and that doesn't interfere greatly with their normal daily living activities. To determine whether you are eligible to participate in the StableMates clinical trial, your doctor will look at several criteria. First, you must have a diagnosis of non-small cell lung cancer confirmed by a biopsy. The tumor must be relatively small, less than four centimeters. All lymph nodes in the chest cavity must be determined to be free of cancer, and there should be no spreading of this cancer to other sites. Doctors use a standardized scale to evaluate how well patients are coping with their activities of daily living. To participate in this trial, you must be able to cope with daily self-care activities unassisted, such as using the bathroom and eating even if you are too ill to go to work or engage in other activities outside the home. Finally, you have been determined to be at high risk for a lobectomy procedure. By now, you will have had several tests to evaluate your heart and lung function. The outcome of these tests will determine your risk category. Every patient who meets the criteria for the clinical trial is pre-randomized by a computer assignment to either have surgery or SABER. All patients will be informed which treatment they've been assigned to before agreeing to participate in this trial. 
At this point, the patient can choose to accept the assignment or reject it. It's completely up to the patient. By accepting, they will receive the assigned treatment, either surgery or SABER, in the next few weeks. Even if the patient prefers not to accept the study assignment, they can still participate in the trial choosing a treatment along with their doctor. We deliberately designed the trial this way to give patients more control over the type of treatment they receive. For SABER, patients first have a CT to verify the treatment location. The treatment itself is divided into three sessions, so patients will have three more visits to the radiation oncology clinic, usually for no more than 30 minutes each time, to complete the therapy. The treatment itself is completely painless. You don't feel it any more than you would feel a radio wave or a cell phone signal. For patients who agree to the standard treatment of surgery, a minimally invasive technique called either a wedge resection or a segmentectomy will be performed. We aim to confirm a margin of at least one centimeter around the tumor so that the chance of complete cancer removal is high. Usually, one or two tubes are placed inside the chest and when these are removed, the patient can go home. Typically, the patient will be at reduced level of activity for about a month and then return back to normal. After a patient accepts their assignment and receives either surgery or SABER, they will have an initial follow-up visit at four weeks. They will then return for testing every three to six months for the first two years, and then every six to 12 months for up to five years following their treatment. We will ask those patients who do not accept their pre-randomization assignment to allow us to monitor their progress as well. Tests will include a general physical, CT scans, and pulmonary function tests, and other tests that are routinely performed. There are no additional costs for these tests or for participating in this clinical trial. Thank you for watching this presentation explaining the Stable Maids trial. If you have further questions, please speak with your doctor or clinical trial coordinator.